Hello and welcome back to Movie Masters. Today we're going to talk about bags because if you're carrying around expensive film equipment, you want a good bag. And I learned the hard way. One time, oh, my last bag, and the reason why I bought this bag, I was getting out of the car with my old camera bag and one of the zips broke off the side. And as I put the bag on my back, my laptop fell straight out the car on the ground. Brand new MacBook Pro M1. Ugh, that was not a good feeling. So, I went out and after that I knew I had to get a good bag. And I went to um, a shop in Berlin, Caldermat, and I saw this little beauty. This is the Think Tank Airport Commuter. Obviously, we know why it's called an airport commuter. It is built for the specifications to fit exactly under your airport seat. And you can be assured that for 99% of planes or airlines that you fly with, unless they change the rules as they always are, but at this current time when this video is recorded, I have taken this bag internationally through Europe, through America, through Australia, through Asia, and I haven't had any issues at all. Now, let me, um, let's just look at what this bag fits in. And it depends on how rough you want to be with your equipment, but all right, let's open this up. Okie dokie, here we have a Zoom H6, there we go. Drone remote control. Drone. Giant battery pack. One lens. Two lens. Three lens. Ah, camera with lens on it. And second camera with lens on it. Now, so far that's five lenses, two cameras, one drone remote control, a Zoom H6, a large battery. Let's keep going. Tripod fits in the bag. Gimbal fits in the bag. But wait, there's more. And not just one MacBook Pro, but two. MacBook Pros. I've got the 16 inch and the old 13 inch and all of that fits right here in this bag. Now, as you can see, we have customizable little uh, shelves or drawers or pockets, whatever you want to call them. And you can change all these, rearrange. They actually did come with a few more. I've taken some out to fit in more different things, but you can customize this bag any way you want, just by easily removing the Velcro. Oh. <laughs> On the top here, you've got two zips, little mesh pockets. You can fit uh, quite a lot of stuff in there. Then um, on the front, you have, uh, well, little pocket up the top, bigger pocket down the upper sleeve, and that's where I fit my laptops in. But wait, there's more. There is a hidden little pocket on the top here, right? Don't know what you put in there, but maybe um, some SD cards or some cables. On the side here, I've never actually used this, but there is a little lock, which, which is attached to some really strong wire. It just sits in there. But look, with all this stuff in my bag, I don't take this thing out of my sight. And then, there's a good handle at the top, on the side, up the top, and then on the side you have a flexible mesh pocket that you can put another tripod in, and then it comes with a certain amount of clips on the side. And just a really quality product. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not the cheapest bag. I think I paid about 300 euro for this when I got it. I've had this for over a year now and it is fantastic. 
It's really lightweight, durable, has good padding. And you know, why spend all this money on expensive lenses and cameras if you could break them? So, look, I just wanted to highly recommend this product. Now that is the ThinkTake Airport Commuter. So, do any of you own one of these? If you do, what are your opinions? How have you found it? As I said, I've just owned this for a little over a year now and I have absolutely no complaints at all. Yeah, if you're in the market for a camera bag, go check this out.